The actor Nick Offerman is the co-star of the show Parks and Recreation. He also has a book, and that offers to take, uh, well, take you on a trip of how to be a man. And uh, Bloomberg Business Week reporter Sam Grobart met Offerman at his Manhattan Steakhouse, at a Manhattan Steakhouse, and he writes about it in the et cetera section of the new edition of Bloomberg Business Week. Uh, J Sam joins me now with the editor of the et cetera section, Emma Rosenblum. Good to have you both with us. Uh, you. you know, normally we just have. Emma here, but right. now that you have met the actor and you have broken bread with him, yes, and steak and steak, mutton chops. Would, yeah, in fact. So what God. is this all yeah. about? Being a man, this is a, a act. He's got a mu where's your mustache? No mustache. I'm working on it. I'm working yeah. on it. Yeah, it's coming in slowly. So who is slowly. this guy and who is Ron Swanson? Nick Offerman is one of the stars of NBC's Parks and Recreation. He plays Ron Swanson, who is the boss of this small department of Parks and Recreation in the city of Pawnee, Indiana. And his character has become sort of a cult hero among a lot of people. And he's written a book called Paddle Your Own Canoe, One Man's uh, Regimen for Delicious Living, where he tells a little bit about his own history and also uh, offers up his opinions on various matters, including how to eat, how to drink, facial hair, work, women, etc. And we need this, right? Because yeah. it's too difficult and challenging to know how to be a man these days. Changing times, pain. Yeah. You know what? What Nick Offerman is offering, and, and the differences between him and his character, while significant, are not complete. There's a fair amount of overlap. Um, he is sort of trying to offer up uh, what I would say, putting the man in manifesto. Very good. The Man in Manifesto. Yeah. You know, I read the article, uh, Emma, and one of the things that it mentions is making your own salmon jerky, custom made axes. Is this really where we're headed? Well, no, it's actually, it's against that trend of, he, he calls it sort of the urban woodsman, which is kind of guys who fake it, right? It's the guys in the city who are wearing the trucker hats and the, you know, the cargo. Carhartt hats. jeans. Yeah, and they're, they're faking it. They're not the real men. So he is saying that ah. those are the guys that are not the real men. Really what you should be doing is actually not just wearing those clothes, but being in a wood shop and making a table and making stuff. It's not the sort of boutique masculinity or boutique authenticity right. that you might see in certain neighborhoods around a place like New York, but actually committing to that lifestyle. So he says, listen, I was wearing Carhartts long before you were, and I'll still be wearing them when you've moved on to something else because right. I work in a wood shop and I like the way these clothes operate in that environment. Unlike those of us that have to actually go to an office. That's right. right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Wearing Carhartts could be a little bit more. Yeah. Well, I'm looking at yours. Um, <laughs> uh, Emma, uh, Tim Tebow. Mm -hmm. He was at the. He was the Broncos. He was a big hero. Yep. He, Jets, right? That didn't work. Yep. Patriots, that didn't work. He's still around. Sort of. Well, he's a free agent now. He has no team. But so we did an article this week about uh, what kind of things he can actually endorse still. Um, because he can't be on the cereal box, he's not getting Nike, he's not getting Gatorade. And so we spoke to, you know, a branding firm that said he could still be an endorser of a bank or of financial services because he's really reliable and he has that reputation for being a stand-up guy. So he also could be a, you know, a broadcaster on ESPN or Fox Sports Network. But um, so it's interesting to see kind of the fall and now what he really can do. Do you think maybe he could endorse Carhartt jeans or, you know, one of these manly items that Sam is he talking could. about? He, he probably could because he is, he does have that kind of manly guy, you know, uh, vibe to him. So possibly he could do some kind of macho jean. Craftsman yeah. tool. Craftsman tool. <laughs> there you go. Jeans. That kind of, yeah. You don't need any of this to be a man. You're a great guy.